Hi guys and welcome to Gaming Watcher. My name is Rolton and in this video I'll let you in on some of the tactics the veteran Destiny players use to get the most out of the playtime and make things easier for themselves. All the tips in this guide will take your Destiny game to the next level, but especially the last one is something that is such a core part of playing Destiny that everyone I know uses it. So stick around guys, I'll make it worth your time. If you like these Destiny guys that I'm doing please like the video showing me that you like the content and you want to see more of it and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please do I can see that it's like 95% of people watching the videos on this channel are not subscribed that's ridiculous guys let's get into the list the little light app the app Little Light is in my opinion the best Destiny third party app out there. I mainly use it to move my items around on my different characters and pull things from my vault. But you can also use it to make loadouts that you can change between with just one click. I'll show you exactly how to use it in a second, but first I want to elaborate on why this is so useful. First of all, you save a lot of time by not having to go to tower every time you have to pull something from your vault. You can just load into any activity and while you load you can pull weapons and armor from your vault to make your loadout. Secondly, in some missions, for example the zero hour mission that you have to do to get the outbreak perfected, it's a huge advantage to be able to change weapons really fast. So in the beginning of the mission you might want to use an arc energy weapon and for the second part you might want to use a solar energy weapon. Changing weapons in game can take a little bit of time, especially on console. If you just have this app open on your phone, you can equip a new weapon with literally one button press and just keep playing without any pause. So the app is very simple to use. You can go to your vault and select any items and press equip on the character that you're using. You can put items into your vault from your character like this and you can go in and save different loadouts like this. Once a loadout is saved you can change between them very easily like this. The app is very user friendly so you probably figure it out. It is called Little Light. Search for it in the App Store or Google Play. Light.gg Light.gg is a website where you can look up almost everything Destiny related. I use it mostly to look up weapons and make decisions on what to dismantle, but it can also be used to find out how to obtain specific resources and basically anything else in Destiny 2. First I want to talk about why this is handy in the first place then I'll get into how to use it. Playing Destiny you collect a lot of weapons. Most of them can just be safely dismantled but especially legendary weapons you have to look into a little bit before you just convert them into legendary shots. All legendary weapons in Destiny comes with a random roll of perks. Some combination of these perks makes for severely boosted performance on these weapons and are called guard rolls or curated rolls. You can look up any weapon on light.gg and see the curated role. I do this when I have a lot of the same type of weapon in my vault and want to make room for more. I find the weapon closest to the curated role and then dismantle all the other versions. To do this you simply go to light.gg and type in the name of the weapon. Then you scroll down to the perks section and then you just start comparing the weapons in your vault with these perks. Dismantle shaders. Shaders are color schemes that you can add to your armor sets and weapons to make them look cool. You obtain these randomly by just playing any activity in the game. What I didn't find out though until having played the game for many hours is that you can actually get a lot of legendary shards for dismantling some shaders. Once you've gotten a shader you can always get it through your collections so there's really no need for keeping them on your character. So I always dismantle on my shaders to get whatever currency I can get from them and then when I want to pimp my character I go to the collections menu and I just get them from there instead. Become part of a clan. 
Becoming part of a clan is a good idea for obvious reasons, like having more people to play with if you want to do raids, for example. By the way, I highly recommend doing raids if you really want to experience Destiny 2 at its absolute best. Those are awesome. But there are other reasons why being in a clan is awesome. The biggest reason, in my opinion, being that you get free ingrams from Hawthorne. When you're leveling up, this can really speed up your process. Every week you can go to Hawthorne and collect a lot of free engrams with high level items in them without doing anything. It's just free stuff. This has helped me rise several power levels throughout my time in Destiny and it just feels awesome every time. The companion app, the official Destiny 2 companion app is also very handy. I mostly use it to find other players when I need to team up with someone to do a specific activity and no one I know is online. When you need to do an activity that is not match made but requires more than one player, you can easily make a post on the companion app and usually within a minute or two you will have the teammates you need. If you connect your console with the app, you can even invite players to your fire team directly from the app. I've used this for doing dungeons or heroic menagerie many times. If you want to do a raid, you can also find groups doing raids that are searching for players. This is made really easy and makes it no problem to find people to play with. Also, you get news and updates through the app. I would recommend for everyone to download this app. Take all the quests! There are so many quests that you can do in Destiny. Every NPC you talk to has quests for you to pick up and deciding which to begin can be very confusing. But my advice is actually to take all of them. A lot of Destiny players complete the quests in this way that I'm about to outline here. When you log into Destiny it can be for many different reasons. But many players will spend a lot of their time doing challenges that award powerful or pinnacle gear. Doing these you will naturally progress on some of the quests without even thinking about it. Suddenly when you look at your quest you will notice that you actually got a lot of progress on some of the quests without even knowing it. Then you can pick those quests and deliberately finish them. At the moment I'm working on finishing the breakneck quest. I've never actually gone after it but because I've played a lot of Gambit and sometimes used an auto rifle I have naturally over time progressed on this quest. I noticed that I was pretty close to completing it some days ago and now I deliberately play to get it done. Having all the quests is a nice way to keep an eye on your progress on the different quests so you can notice if you almost have some of them completed. The reason why this is the way many people do it is because the quests can be long and it can be daunting to start one of them from the beginning. In this way you can start the quests when they are nearly finished and it will not seem like so much work. What's your best tip for Destiny players? Have you found out something that you want to share? Then please do so with me and, and the other guys watching these videos in the comment section. I really want to see what is your best tip for new Destiny players. Maybe you got it from a friend, maybe you read it online, maybe you got it from one of my guides. Either way, share it with us. I'll share another tip in the comment section below in the first comment. So take a look guys and as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.